What's up, guys? Once again, it's the Boston Assault Show, Conference USA College Football Preview, right now. All right, guys. We're talking about Rice University in Texas. Head coach Mike Bloomgren, second year. And a lot went wrong for this guy. At, you know, his first year out. He had a ton of injuries, had some personnel problems, and uh, it doesn't get any easier from here. They finished up the season 2-11 and last year, and it could get worse than that if you, if you have to believe that. They got a tougher schedule uh, for this team this year. Uh, last year they had a lot of issues at quarterback. Um, they just averaged 155 yards per game in the air. Um, and they get two graduate transfers, one from Stanford, one from, from Harvard, in the running back position. And, um, and they're going to be a little step below where they were talent-wise last year, but they do bring in a, another Harvard transfer at quarterback. To kind of, you know, and um, they say yes to, to that move. This team is ranked 125th last year in the FBS on the offense and ranked dead last and defense the last three years in FBS. So not a whole lot to say about this team. You know, to sum it up, I'm just going to cut right to the chase. This team will be lucky if it wins two games this year. I'm putting this game, at, this team at a one-game W. Yeah, I'm right there with you on the one-game thing. This team is awful. Now, I'll take a quote out of uh, the Lindy Magazine, and this is from uh, Coach Mike. He says, it's been a battle to change this culture and the mindset, but we are totally committed to our process. Now that, to me, I interpret as just chaos, man. Same as their team was last year. Complete chaos. They won the first game and the last game, and they lost everything in between. They got blown out plenty of times. This is not a team that you definitely want to put your money on. I don't see any high hope nowhere for this team right here and then to add injury to insult the uh athletic director whoever uh composed this schedule for them just totally did a already suffering team wrong they open at army then they play wake forest then they play texas then they play baylor i mean come on like if after all of that what kind of hope or what kind of promise do you have for the rest of the season knowing you got to play uh, Louisiana Tech, you still got to play Marshall, you still got to play teams like North Texas. This team is a laydown team, man. Um, fade them the best you can as frequently as you can as well. But um, I hopefully, I mean, hopefully, to tell you the truth, as a, a handicapper, I hope they slip up and accidentally beat somebody earlier in the middle and that uh, the bookies see them out of a different eye so I can continue to fade them and win money. But um, that's all I really have to say about this team. Nothing really stands out. They had a horrible last season. I, I don't want to talk about last year because it was horrible. And I don't want to talk about this year because they still confuse. So um, that's about it for me. Big Ragu, you got anything want to wrap it up on this one? Yeah. And, and and close with a win and a lot of L's in between. So that's what. And the other thing is, <laughs> the other thing is, like I say, it's more of an academic style school because they get all these smart kids from different schools. You know, transfer from Harvard, Stanford, stuff. So, you know, respect to the kids for getting on the field and trying. It's just already at that point. So, just hopefully their uh, their spirit don't get broke and they. Uh, they go on to have a nice life after college football. Hey, my words to all those players out there, <laughs> stay healthy, guys. Let's get to the next team right here on the Boston right Sauce Show. Oh.